Hey there, guys, and welcome to a another Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack Let's Play. And this one is called Bubbling Bog Brewie. Uh, this was a ROM hack that was originally created by... I, I don't remember his name, but I'll put his name up on the screen. But in this case, this is a recreation by Kirko Mods. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> I could have uh, done that. Okay, well, can I get to playing this? Okay, so, uh, for disclosure, I have uh, never played this hack before. This is... Well, I've not played the original. Wow. He actually retextured one of the regular flibbits to be, uh... To be a normal enemy. Since in the original Banjo-Kazooie, the red flibbits were the normal enemies, and the yellow flibbits were the mini-boss. Yeah, this is basically supposed to be a much scarier version of Bubble Gloop Swamp. And I've only seen a few, uh, well, a few minutes of the, uh, well, one of the trailer videos that Mark Kirko had brought out where he did the full playthrough of this game. But I've only watched as far as going inside of the mouth of that uh, tree up there. And I didn't want to spoil myself so much, so I didn't uh, watch through it all the way. Okay, come on. I, I know it's possible to... Okay. Oh, okay, well... I, I was gonna say, I know it's possible to get up here without getting hurt! Because I've seen Mark do it. Okay. Come on. If Mark can get up here without getting hurt, I can too. It probably would have been a lot easier to do it with uh, the Wonder Feathers, but I didn't have very many. Yeah, I think this is, well, the second hack that I have personally played where Mark had recreated an existing ROM hack and made it better than before. So that was pretty good of him, just taking... A ROM hack that already existed. Oh look, it's Ugly Tootie! Hey Ugly Tootie! I'm sorry that I did not save you- Oh, you're mean now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh. We just have to kill our own sister who's been turned into a monster. And that was the first of the musical notes in this hack. Uh, why is- why did the orange Jinjo talk? I picked up a yellow one. I hear a little bit of, uh, remix of, uh, Frantic Factory from Donkey Kong 64. That's pretty neat how there is the little reference to, uh, to other games. I wonder what the point of jumping on that pumpkin was. And in case you can tell from the game's music, I've noticed that it is uh, a spooky version of Bubble Gloop Swamp. The original swamp level in Banjo-Kazooie. 
Oh, and I just remembered the, uh, the demo, or watch the video, and there is a witch switch, well, maybe not a witch switch jiggy, necessarily, but there, there is a switch that makes a jiggy appear, but it's on a timer, just like in Bubble Blue Swamp originally. I think that's where it's supposed to appear. Hopefully I can do this. Alright. Yeah, although it was pretty hard to get up there in the first place. Yeah, I think I need to slam down on this. Oh, hold on. I'm... I do not think that I can do this. Oh, wait. This... This is not it. Okay. I think it's actually on top of this bottle. Okay, it is on top of this one, because there's an X here. And there's the Jiggy, but we only have 10 seconds to get it. I'm probably not going to make it the first try. Yeah, I didn't make it the first try. Okay, th this is probably going to take me a couple of tries, so I think that I will just speed through this until I get there. Unless I get it uh, right at this moment, which it's very... Okay, note to self. Uh, turn Talent Trot off as soon as you get to the book. And I made it! That's the first Jiggy. I don't know how many tries it took me, because I wasn't counting. And, as you noticed, when I collected that Jiggy, it uh, just spun around Banjo's body, just like the Jiggies do in Banjo-Tooie. So, that was a pretty interesting change. And that's pretty much everything that this level has to offer, based upon what I have seen so far. So, from this point, uh, I have no idea what to expect from this point onwards, because that was everything that I had watched from watching the, uh, the video showing off this level that Mark Kirko had posted on his channel. I didn't want to spoil myself too much about it, so that was hence why I didn't watch that video all the way through. Okay, it's one of these eggs. And I need to find a way to get on top of it. Oh, it's a giant pot. I wonder if this pot has a face. I'm gonna go ahead and go see what is over here. It's colored mushrooms, just like in uh, Fungi Forest in Donkey Kong 64. But none of them are green! You got red and blue and yellow and purple, but no green. Does Chunky get no love? Oh, Witch Switch. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. I was wondering how you were supposed to get up there. Although, did which switches in the original Banjo-Kazooie activate those moving... Uh, moving, uh, spring shock pads? I don't recall them ever doing that. 
Darn it. I know that it is certainly possible to get up there. Maybe if I do the Rat-a-Tat Wrap to get up there, I might be able to do it next try. Well, at least I made it. I just couldn't stay. Because I slipped. Maybe if I aim for one of the legs, I can get it. Oh, I was in the process of activating the Talon Trot, but I wasn't fast enough. Or maybe I just need to jump with the Talon Trot and land on a leg. I'm gonna try that. Alright. Oh, that worked! And there is no face on this uh, Magic Cauldron. Now, maybe there was. That would be kind of hilarious, but maybe also a bit freaky to see see a dead cauldron face. Wouldn't it be? Oh, I can climb this? I can climb it. I bet you can actually only climb the really thin ones. And they all have something to offer. Yeah, you, you can only climb the thin ones. The thick ones you can't climb on. Oh, and you can't climb that one. I just jumped to see where I was going to be able to get to. Alright. This was where I was able to get to. Wow. Alright. I, I can't see where else to go. Oh, there's the Jiggy. Jiggy. Now to get back down onto the ground. Well, now that that uh, spring shock pad is out, I may as well use it. Spring shock pad is pretty much useless now. Flibbit. Oh, can you open this up? I guess you can't. Oh, found another mumbo token. There's another Jinjo. Are you supposed to get into this house at all? Let me try eggs. Okay. Guess you're not meant to go in there unless maybe it's possible to get in there with a the transformation? I don't know. Oh my, that is spooky. Oh, and they don't turn back into their original texture. 
Oh, they, th that doesn't break open? I think there is like an invisible switch here. Wow, another Jinjo? Okay. I had no idea I needed to use the talent trap for that. Alright, I'm back up here. Talent trot. Hmm. Am I inside? I am inside. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Well, another Jiggy. That's good. Is there any point in breaking those spider webs? Or are they just there for decoration? Well, now I'm going to travel to the other side. I was certain that that termite was going to hurt me when I couldn't hurt him back. Yeah, I just really hate when there are cases in video games where an enemy is able to attack you when you aren't able to defend yourself or attack back. Okay, I see Mumbo's hot right there, but I'm not quite ready for the transformation yet. I'm not sure uh, how many uh, Jiggies are found in this mod. I, I am predicting that it's not going to be the usual uh, uh, 10 Jiggies, considering that Mark uh, has done his Kirkcoin Quest uh, game series, which I don't know if the full version has come out yet. I would not think that it has. But in that uh, series, there are these Kirk coins that act as the collectibles for the game. And there's only five per level. And of course, as usual, the outside of the hut looks like the one in Tui, but the... Uh, the inside is still the same as in Kazooie. And there are, and we need eight of the Mumbo tokens. And we only have seven so far, so I guess we're not using the transformation yet. Although couldn't uh couldn't the Mumbo huts perhaps if they look like the huts from Tui on the outside, shouldn't they also look the same on the inside as well? Because I kind of expect for them to look like the huts on the inside. And I did not mean to fall into the water like that. Oh, another grunty switch. I wonder what this one will do. Oh, it opens the door, so you are meant to go in there. Okay. Hello, now useless spring shock pad. 
Oh, here are a couple of musical notes that I did not pick up before. You know, I was kind of uh, expecting to see a very scary character at the end. Like, maybe that big eyeball creature from the uh, Cave of Dreams hack. Hmm, are you supposed to... You are! Okay. Oh, I thought maybe you were supposed to break them in a certain order. Or... Or maybe it would be uh, one of those cases of you need to open up uh, these holes, but be sure not to open up the wrong one or it's death. But nope, they just all had something underneath them. So it was not death. Ah, oh, neat. More e Easter eggs from other games. Yeah, like there's, there's the N Nintendo's logo and there's the pagey from ukulele. That's pretty nice. Okay. Are you supposed to, like, go through these paintings? Or are you supposed to go in one of them? Okay, I guess there's nothing more for us to do in here. I thought maybe there would be a Jiggy found in here, but there isn't. More lily pad jumping. Oh, I haven't climbed up this yet. Oh, there's more to explore on the back of the tree. Ah, we have the big cluckas. Yeah, and they, they're not retextured for some reason. I thought maybe they would be, but no, nope, they're just the original texture of the cluckas. Right, okay. Wasn't sure if I was gonna make that, but I got it. expecting that but I'll expect it next time oh I I was proceeding to do the ratatat rap yeah I tried to do that but something would not let me okay here we are I better do it this time oh no don't okay thank you for not falling again Am I really going to risk my life to get that gold feather? Of course I am! Oh, I think we made it to the top. Can't 
see. I thought I saw an empty honey piece. Pretty sure I did. Or did I already get it? I don't remember getting it. But maybe I did and I just don't remember. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Are there even six found within this hack? I'm not sure if there is. Oh, here are a couple of, uh... Oh, another Jinjo. And that was... Okay, can I get up here with the waiting boots on? I guess I can't. Okay, anyway. Ah, another empty honey piece. I wasn't expecting to find that in here. Alright, now to get the musical notes on top of this log. Nine, ninety, ninety-one. Well, I got ninety-one. So I guess now is probably a good time for me to use the transformation. I'll go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Huh. I wonder why. Oh, I see. Touch my honey this time, and you'll be sorry. <laughs> what are a bunch of fireflies gonna do to me? Yeah, I think that those were unused from... Uh, well, I think they were unused from uh, Banjo Kazooie. All right, I'm guessing it's going to be the crocodile. Yep, definitely the crocodile, and no change to the texture. Yeah, it's just, it's just the crocodile transformation. There's not really anything different. Oh, I was wondering if we could go in here, and it looks like we can. I thought maybe we needed to uh, press a switch to break it open, but I guess not. Oh, but it looks like we need to uh, find a way to get in here, because this looks like... Oh. Okay, I wonder where that's going to lead to. Okay, uh... So I guess I don't go up that way. Was close! Wow, he even used the crocodile head icon. I like that. Yeah, that... Yeah, that... It, it is actually kind of, uh... Odd how there's only a head icon for the crocodile transformation, but not for any of the others. Yeah, the one time that the crocodile transformation, uh... Has its own head icon is if you win uh, Mr. Vile's challenge a second time... And, uh... Okay. Oh my, oh! Okay, well, I was closer, so I'm gonna keep at it. Oh, it doesn't help that the screen freezes as the timer is going down. No, oh, I was so close! I was so close!
11 minutes later. Did I make it? I, ma I made it. What? Are you kidding me? Hold on a minute. You know, I don't think the goal was to get into that uh, opening. I think it was actually as a jump platform. I thought maybe you were supposed to jump into that whole thing. But when I did, it just spawned me back at the entrance. At least, is that it? I was kind of wondering if maybe what I was actually supposed to... Like, maybe I had just glitched through that or something? I, I don't know. There's another opening over there. I wonder where it's gonna lead. Oh, just to another Jiggy. Big surprise. It led to another Jiggy. I wonder what this sign says. Or can I even read it? Checking back in here now to see if there is anything for the crocodile to get. I didn't see any openings uh, in the wall before, just for the crocodile. So maybe there isn't anything in here for the crocodile to get. So I'm just gonna go and change back. Oh, there were some notes under the log. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go and uh, change back into a crocodile in order to get them. But real quickly. Okay. I thought maybe that did something, but I guess not. Or does it? Okay, I guess not. Can't believe I didn't get these notes uh, before. Alright, well, that's all a hundred notes, but there are still, uh, I think ten more jiggies. Let me check the view totals. Yeah, ten more jiggies. I think that from the, the video that I watched, there's actually a hint inside of the tree. So, let me go and, uh, see that. Okay, let's see. Ah! Okay, so now I'm gonna press down here. And what did that do? Oh, it opens up the pumpkin! Okay! I knew that there was something you needed to do in order to, uh... Well, there was something for you to do on top of the pumpkin. Oh my, it, it, the inside of the pumpkin burns you. Should have seen that coming. Okay, well, there's one more Jiggy for me to find. I wonder if there are any hints about where the last Jiggy is found.
All right. Well, after watching through the uh, the video that discusses about where the last Jiggy is, well, it discusses where the last Jiggy is, but it also shows where everything else is. But after watching through it, I figured out that the that there's actually one more one more down there. So there you have it. That's all the jiggy. Well, hey, we found all the jiggies. Okay. Well, it took me an hour to record through this entire video. But it was certainly an interesting one. I think that I will actually uh, have a view of the front of the tree where I end off the video. I'm also going to see if I can read these signs real quickly, if I can even read them. Alright, can I read this? Well, that's nice. Now what about this? Alright, well... Well, uh, just take a look at that, and the branches spread out all the way. So that's gonna cover it for uh, this uh, Let's Play of a Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack. And uh, I hope that you guys will uh, follow me on Twitch when I eventually get to doing live streams there. I've been trying to figure it out, but... It has been kind of hard for me to figure out how to do it, even when I watch videos on how to do it. And I also hope that you will support me on Patreon. And I don't know when I'm going to do another Let's Play on a Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack, or what Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack I will be doing next. I'm still working on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, and the views are still dropping uh, like it was like over a hundred views but right before I started doing the recording for this video it dropped down to 96 so I'm trying to get those views back up so thank you so much for watching and I will see you whenever I bring out my next let's play